Hello and welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter. This is the first time I've done a video podcast, so bear with me as we go through the process and learn kind of get things tweaked. Recently, I picked up a MacBook Pro. I've had a Mac Mini in my studio for several years and been very pleased with it. Picked up an iPhone earlier this year. Also got an iPad, so I figured, okay, it's time to really get to learn the Macs now that I've got uh, pretty much all that around me. One of the things that I ran into early on was I needed to get console access into some of the Cisco gear here in the lab for something I was working on. Well, the Mac doesn't have a serial port on it. Cisco gear is just now starting to support direct uh, USB access, but that's only in the G2 and newer gear, so a lot of my gear is not of that vintage, so I had to go find a device that would do it. After a lot of research, I found the Keyspan USA 19HS. Now, that is one of the better devices that I've seen reviews on because it properly handles all the RS-232 signaling that you're going to need to have so that you can successfully get into Cisco gear and probably some other gear as well. I'm going to take you through getting the drivers installed on my MacBook Pro, and then we'll talk about three of the applications that you can use. You can use the terminal application that comes with Snow Leopard or Leopard or, or the other releases, you've got to do a little bit of Apple scripting to get that in place. And we'll send, give you some of the links that show you how to do that. There's also something called CoolTerm, which is strictly a console-only application. And that will get you up running if that's all you need. There's also a uh, semi-graphical application from MacWise that gives you console plus Telnet plus SSH. So if you want one program that does all that's certainly going to be something to, to look at. So let's get shifted over to the MacBook. Right, now you see the desktop on my MacBook. Now I've already copied the latest drivers out here from Keyspan, which is now owned by Triplight. If you're using Snow Leopard like I am, then you'll want to get the latest drivers directly from the Keyspan website. And it's just a matter of clicking on the package and it's going to review what drivers that it supports in terms of the different external pieces. Click on continue, click on continue, click on continue. I'm sure we all remember this from the Windows world. And then to keep the lawyers happy, you've got to click on agree. Now we'll step down here and go to install on a specific disk. Even though on the MacBook Pro you only have just the one. Uh, we'll go ahead and click on that and you'll see the down arrow. We'll click continue and then click install. And then enter the password that I log into it with. So it'll take it just a bit here to get things up and running. If you have an earlier version of the Keyspan device and you're upgrading to the USA 19HS or you've upgraded the Mac that you've got to uh, Leopard or higher, you'll want to go get the newer drivers. Only in the case when you're upgrading over drivers that are already in place will you need to reboot. But that's, again, the only time. Once we get this installed, you'll see it's pretty straightforward. Now, if this is your first time installing, you'll need to go through a couple of steps that I'm not able to, to show you here. And you'll actually have to go through and see, we're finished. And you'll have to go through and do uh, some minor configuration. You've got to name each of the ports. And we'll go ahead and plug that in and you'll see uh, what the Keyspan Assistant's going to do. It's going to uh, discover it here in just a second. And we'll go ahead and go into CoolTerm. Since it's already seen it, it's not going to give me the message that you're thinking of. And CoolTerm is an application that I find really nice because I'm used to dealing things with from, from a graphical perspective. So what we'll do here is click on Options. And you see it's already seen it as Key Serial 1. The, you may have to name the ports the first time through. That's not a big deal. The Keyspan Assistant can help you with that. And then we'll click on OK. And as soon as we hit Enter, no, oh, got ahead of myself. See, I've got to click on Connect. And then you're already seeing output from my uh, ASA that I've got over here just off camera. And that's all there is to it. You've got pretty much the, the response that you're used to seeing. There, like I said, are other options that you've got available. Of course, you've got MacWise that you can use and you can use the uh, the Apple script add-ons and that is an option I just wasn't comfortable with it because I'm that new to Apple that I wasn't sure what to do but you know you can see how easy it is to do 
very straightforward. I would encourage you while you're doing this to look at going with, uh, you know, plugging the key span device into all your USB ports. So no matter where you plug it in, it's going to be known. You don't have to worry about doing any last minute configuration. And that's got you good to go. So again, pretty straightforward. The uh, MacWise is also a good option to use that gets you, you know, one program that does all, or, you know, you can use what is already existing in, in Mac OS. So again, personal preference, but you've got several different ways to go. Uh, at the end of this, you'll see links to the different options that are out there. And if you have any questions, please uh, email me at helpdesk at networkref.com. If you'd like to see me do anything else on a video podcast, please send the link uh, suggestions to me or the links to something you'd like me to look at. I'll be more than glad to uh, step it through the lab, and we'll take it from there. Thank you for your time.